Since prehistoric times, the Inuit have used quick freezing to preserve fish. They threw their catch onto the Arctic ice to instantly freeze it. It wasn't until the early 20th century that the rest of the world discovered that this was better than slow freezing. It's a case of progress moving at a glacial pace. Fish that's rapidly frozen right on the ship is more flavorful and retains its texture. This is minced cod, frozen solid. It underwent quick freezing in China and was shipped in this frozen state all the way to this Nova Scotia facility where it will be turned into fish sticks. A worker loads the fish blocks into a machine. A powerful ram forces the blocks through knives, which slice them into logs that are about 48 centimeters in length. Workers load the logs vertically into slots. Below, more knives slice the logs into sticks. They get 85 fish sticks from one log. They check for breaks as the sticks move to the next station. At another production line, they dump quick frozen haddock fillets into a big steel hopper. It funnels them to a flighted conveyor. The conveyor meters the fillets and drops each bunch onto a vibrating table. The vibrations separate the fillets as they move into lanes and shuffle down to an inspection station where flaws can be easily spotted. Now it's time for a hot shower. It lasts just a second. The hot water melts the fillet's protective glaze, but doesn't thaw the fish itself. Deglazing allows the coating mixture to stick to the fish. The fish sticks are now traveling through a curtain of batter made of flour, water, and spices. The excess collects in a pan below and coats the bottoms of the fish sticks. Back on the haddock production line, they're loading a toasted wheat blend into a machine called a breader. It creates a thick shower of crumbs below that evenly coats the fillets as they journey through. Then the breaded frozen fillets head for the fryer. The fish sticks go through a fryer too for 28 seconds, just long enough to cook the outside coating, but the fish remains frozen on the inside. With the coating baked on, the fish sticks and fillets are now en route to the freezers. Meanwhile, over on a third production line, they dump oil and red peppers into a high-speed mixer. They add some parsley for seasoning, then hand stir it while its steam cooks. The red pepper sauce cascades from an applicator, saturating these frozen tilapia fillets. This coating sticks without being fried, so the tilapia fillets head straight for the spiraling freezer. The fish sticks and breaded haddock fillets are in similar freezers. After 45 minutes, the haddock slides down the chute which weighs it to portion it out. Heated jaws seal the bagged haddock fillets. An oscillating feeder deposits the fish sticks into boxes. One last inspection and they're ready for retail. They vacuum pack the tilapia fillets and this meal is sealed. And now there's plenty of fish to fry. 
depending on where your tastes lie.